Hey there, this is Red, back with another episode of Red Plays, and this one's a Marvel Champions play. Right now, we're looking at Rhino and Captain America, and I have just totally destroyed Rhino on the standard difficulty for the last two games playing Captain America. So I think I'm going to take it up a notch. We're going to try... Rhino on expert difficulty. Now, I haven't played any expert difficulty yet, so I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, but, you know, it was just too easy with the basic Rhino and Captain America. Don't know if everybody else is having that experience, but my last couple of plays, if you watch them, I'll put little links up there. Um, just blow right through Rhino. No, no problem. So, let's try and make it a little bit tougher. We'll go expert mode. So, for expert mode, I threw the the three additional expert mode cards into the encounter deck and I've got Rhino level two out there. So Rhino level two, rather than starting, when you start on level one, it's just Rhino. And this on Rhino level two, he ends up with a few more hit points to start out with. I think the normal one starts with 14 and he starts with 15, so not that much more, but the breaking and taking that you would normally get when you reveal level two is out there at the start. So. My concern is I probably want to thwart off of that and get that additional counter out of the way right away. So now let's give it a go and see how it how it turns out. So right now we got Steve Rogers out there. I got my hit point counter set up. Let's draw some cards. So I need six cards. In the last playthrough, I forgot to use my setup ability to go for Captain America's shield. And I can't believe I destroyed Rhino without my shield. That was that was kind of crazy but um, it worked out. Three Quinjets off the start. What are the odds? Um, wow. But I also have my Heroic Strike. I don't have anything out there to help me get rid of threat. And that, I, I could do it as Captain America because I can double tap as Captain America, but that's, that's a little bit scary. I think I'm gonna go, could get the Heroic Strike off though. Rook strike it. Uh, we'll stick with this. Uh, I'm real hesitant, but we'll stick with that. All right. And you can tell me in the comments that if that was silly or not, because uh, let's see. If I would have went for it, I would have got a serum, a shield toss, strength in numbers, and make the call, and Hawkeye, which would, well, I don't know. I think I was okay sticking with it. All right. So I need my shield. Where's my shield? Shield, shield, shield. Not the shield block. That's determination. There we go. Cap shield. All right. So we'll shuffle it up a bit here. And then what are we looking at? So we got Steve Rogers. I've got no allies to bring out right away. Well, that's a little bit on the disappointing side. Um, but what I can do is thwap the rhino pretty hard to start out, which is nice with that uh, heroic strike there. So I think we will flip right on over to the cap side. So, boom, we're Captain America. All right, let's just start off with the hit because, you know, let's let's get things rolling. We got a two and there's a three mana to play for that heroic strike. We'll bop him for six and stun him. That's a good start, All right? We'll not take him down to nine. Now I have not, I didn't even look at what level three Rhino does when he comes out. So I'm a little bit afraid of how that works out, but I don't know. So we'll see. All right. So there we go. I don't know how to prepare for the level three Rhino or if I should. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. So I, I hit him. I stunned him. Uh, let's see here. What else have we got here? We got... Cap is going to thwart for two. We'll take two off of that breaking and taking. Oops. Yep, that's right. All right, I think I'm going to get rid of the Quinjet. And we're, I'm going to untap Cap. And then I'm going to get rid of the last. We'll do two more, but that gets rid of the breaking and taking. Really, I don't want to worry about that extra encounter card. And that's just going to pretty much nerf Rhino for that first turn. Ideally, things turn out pretty good there. All right, so we want to get Cap's shield out there. Let's go ahead and use our Avengers Assemble. We get Cap Shield out. Uh, do I get rid of or sit on the Quinjet? I think we'll get rid of the Quinjet and take cards instead. All right, so that's gonna end our Cap turn. 
Let's get my five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. Kept sitting kind of pretty this first turn. We did some damage. We stunned him. We got rid of a side scheme. Things are looking all right. All right. Kind of would have liked to get some allies out there, but, you know, that's how it goes. All right, so we've got Rhino. We're going over the villain phase at this point in time. So first off, we have our basic scheming. And he's going to get one on there. Next up is he sees Captain America out there. He's going to come for the attack, but... He's stunned, so no attack. So now we're going to draw the encounter card. Counter card says, hard to keep down. Rhino heals four. Oh, man. All that damage I did last turn is mostly gone now. So you can go back up to 13. I guess the good news is, at least that made him heal so that card didn't surge. So we're all right with that. And he's still got a little bit of damage on him. So... All right, so that's the Rhino's turn. Not too bad. So what are we going to do as Cap? We're back over to Captain America's turn now. All right, looking at stuff, we have a shield toss. That doesn't do us really a whole lot of good. Could get could be four damage attack. But what are we looking at here? Could hold on to the shield block to stop. Let's do that. I think what we're going to do is we will do... On this turn, we'll do another Heroic Strike, which is going to hit him for three and stun him again. I'm sorry, we're going to use three cards to hit him, which is going to stun him, and we're going to do six damage. So six damage, we're going to knock him down to seven. So five, six, seven, can I turn it the right way? Nope, of course it didn't turn it the right way. There we go, seven. We'll knock him down to seven. All right, he's going to be stunned, so I don't know that the shield block is going to do me a whole lot of good. So I think what we'll do is we'll hit him. We'll use that to untap, and we'll hit him again. Boom, boom. That's four more damage. He's down to three. And three. All right. Down should be the reducing thing. That's what i got to remember. All right, so there's Captain America's turn. Let's get some cards. We need some allies. That's what we need out there. One, two, three, four, five. Five allies. Oh no, not five allies. Maybe two allies and a lot of cards that... There's one. One ally. Two allies. Ooh, Mockingbird. We can get the stun back yet again. It's going to be all about the stuns. Baby. Alright, so Rhino's gonna... We'll go over to Rhino's turn. Start off. Let's add another threat. Second thing, he's going to be stunned and not do anything. All right, so now we're going to draw our encounter card. Encounter card is, ooh, crowd control. So crowd control comes out, and really that prevents me from removing threat from, uh, break, uh, blah, 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 from the break-in until I take care of this. So it only gets two threat. That's not too horrible. Okay, back to Captain America's turn. All right, Mockingbird drops that stun, so it would be nice to get Mockingbird out there. But Wonder Man brings the damage. And I'm not going to be able to do both of them. I'm going to have to choose one or the other. All right, so one of the things that I think I will do, that's, that would get me another card, and it's going to bump up my thwart, but... What's that going to help me do? Go through my deck faster or maybe get something more interesting. Um, do I want to go after that? No, I think we'll, we'll stick with what we've got here. So I think what we'll do is we will do one, two, three. In order to bring Mockingbird out. Do the Mockingbird thing. So Mockingbird's going to come out. And what she's going to do is she drops a stun. He's been stunned like every round. This is awesome. I'm loving this. All right, so now what we've got is we got Captain America. I think Captain America is going to thwart here and get rid of this. Oh, I can't. Sorry, I've got it here. We've got to get rid of that too first, which then gets rid of the crowd control. And then we'll get rid of our fearless determination to untap Cap, and then we'll thwart and get rid of the stuff on the break-in. We'll keep that threat down. And then Mockingbird... 
Is he going to do that massive one damage and knock him down to two? All right, down to two. And I mostly turned the dial the right way that time. All right. Let's untap. Let's get our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to start another round where the Rhino is stunned. Oh, ooh, this is the all allies hand here. I don't have my mana generating stuff out there, so I'm not. Ooh, I got lots of good stuff in this hand. All these allies, Steve's apartment. Shield toss is nice, but it doesn't matter a whole lot at this point because there's not a lot of enemy minions out there. All right, so let's go over to the rhino side of the house. He's going to get one threat on there. He's going to come to attack me. Oh, shocker, he's stunned yet again. And we get an encounter card. Encounter card is gang up. Oh, so actually he's coming for me. He's going to come attack me this turn. All right, so he's got three attack. I've got my shield out there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to block with Captain America. So I've got an additional defense, and I've got two naturally, so I've got three on the defensive side of stuff. So let's see what he gets for a modifier. Two. So he would normally do five, but I block three, so he does two damage to me. So I go down to nine. And then, because I'm trying to be on the ball, I actually have my retaliate for my one damage. He's down to one. That's going to be embarrassing. Mockingbird might knock him down this next round. All right, that's his encounter card. So that's back to my turn. Even more embarrassing, Squirrel Girl might knock him down. All right, so let's see what we want to do here. Uh, we only have five out there. What I could do is I could flip to I could flip to the Steve Rogers side of stuff because we haven't been getting a whole bunch of threat. That would force Rhino to scheme for a round, and that would allow me to get one of my people in for cheaper, which means I could get Squirrel Girl out there, but I still couldn't get anybody else. I could get. Um, Sharon Carter, Agent 13 out there, because she would only cost two at that point, and I could get Steve's apartment, which would be nice, but it's not. You know what? Let's do this first. Let's see how this resolves, because I don't know what Rhino level three does. So let's take Mockingbird, and we'll have Mockingbird hit Rhino and knock that last point of health off of him and reveal what Rhino three does. All right, so I haven't seen this yet. So let's see what we got here. We've got Rhino 3 says he gets toughness. And when revealed, stun each hero. Ouch. Okay, so he gets tough. And then everybody comes out, gets a stun. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I didn't bring my hero out yet. Because uh, then they would have started with stun, and that would have kind of sucked. All right, so let's... Let's swap over to Steve Rogers. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use our shield toss to get Steve's apartment out. As we got Steve's apartment out, what we can do is we can use that to draw a card and heal one. So we'll do that first. Draw a card and heal one. Puts me up to 10. Oh, I need to reset Rhino's health. That puts me back up to 10. Rhino's health should be at, now that he transformed, he's back at 16. All right. Get Rhino back up to 16. There we go. 15, 16. Okay. All right. We're both in the same ballpark there. All right. So next up is he's going to scheme this turn. I can get rid of that tough. All right. So who could I, I could possibly play? Anybody. I could get the Falcon out there. There's not a lot of threat to get rid of, but the Falcon has two thwart and two attack and three health, which is really nice. Um, Agent 13's only got one attack. She's good at thwarting, but, well, it's not going to help. Well, it will help after this round because um, he's going to do some scheming this round. 
So maybe it's good to no. Let's let's bring the falcon out because I think the falcon is my better long-term play. I would really like squirrel girl comes out. She takes the toughness off of rhino, which is pretty cool. But I think we're gonna go with the falcon because of Steve's ability. It's only gonna cost me three to get the falcon out. So Ben Falcon's coming into play. Um, so when the Falcon comes out, I take the top three cards of the encounter deck. One, two, three. And for every treachery, I get to remove one threat. So we got one treachery, bomb scare, and another treachery. So I would normally get to remove two, but there's only one out there, so we'll get rid of that one. Okay. All right, so next up, Falcon sitting out there. I think we'll go ahead and have him attack and knock that toughness off the rhino. All right, so that ends us for this round. We're going to untap Steve's apartment. We'll get the Falcon back. Mockingbird's back, but she's stunned. And Steve Rogers is back, but he's stunned. And now we're going to get six cards. So we need a good stack of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We have a Hawkeye, Avengers Assemble, Fearless Determination. Ooh, there's a bunch of resource generation. Um, and Captain America's Helmet. All right, so let's go for the Rhino's turn. At this point in time, Rhino's going to get one on here. He's got one scheme, so he's going to scheme this round because Steve Rogers is out there instead of Captain America. And he's going to get one. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. Now we have an encounter, and the encounter is the Shocker. Ooh. When revealed, deal one damage to each hero. Well, I don't have any heroes out there. I've got allies, and I've got an alter ego, so I don't think I take any damage. That works out pretty good. All right. But I will need to take care of that shocker on my turn, which is a bit of a problem because everybody's stunned. So, huh. Okay. So we're back to the hero side of the board. So we're on our hero's phase. We can use Steve's apartment again, which I'm starting to really like as a card. It's, I don't know that it's, it's on the border of it's awesome as Aunt May because we get that one heal, which is going to take him back up to 11 which is good, but we get the card draw. And the card draw is awesome. Uh, getting Avengers Tower is not awesome, but getting the card draw is awesome. Okay, so Steve, do I have any allies I want to bring in? I could bring in Hawkeye for a cost of two, and then I'm sitting on an Avengers Assemble. Mm, that's interesting. All right, so let's bring... Let's bring Hawkeye in for two. We can use this two mine to bring Hawkeye in for two. There we go. Let's flip Steve back over to Captain America. All right. Next up, what are we doing? We can... Oh, if we attack with Captain America, it doesn't do any good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We will we will attack with Captain America, which takes off his stunned. Doesn't do any damage, but it takes his stun out. Oop, I need four tokens for Hawkeye. He's got his four arrows. One, three, let's get rid of the three. We got four arrows for Hawkeye. All right, I don't think I've actually ever shot anything with Hawkeye yet. He's an awesome character, but I haven't been able to make good use of him. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we will have Hawkeye and the Falcon both attack. Um, so they need tokens. And they'll take out the Shocker. All right, Shocker's gone. One less thing to worry about. Then what we're going to do is we're going to play one, two three, four, one, one, two, three, four, and we'll play Avengers Assemble. 
All right, so what Avengers Assemble does is ready each Avenger. Each Avenger gets plus one thwart and plus one attack. All right, so now everybody's got plus one thwart and plus one attack. So I think at that point, we're going to attack with the Falcon. And he's going to do um, plus one attack. He's going to do three. He's going to take a damage. That's going to take him out. But he's going to hit for three. So Falcon hits for three. So that's going to knock him down to 13. All right, Hawkeye will... I think Hawkeye's going to thwart. Because now he's at two thwart. So he'll thwart and take that off of there so we don't have to worry about that mockingbird gets no bonus and she's still sitting there with the stunned i think she's going to be rhino food this next round captain america will attack for three all right so he's down to 10. all right so the next question is going to be do i untap him and attack again because i can i can do another three I think so. I think that's what we'll do. We will untap Captain America and use Captain America's helmet so he attacks again. And he's going to hit for three. So now Rhino's down to seven. Okay. I love that. You can, when you get that uh, big card out there, that Avengers Assemble, is you can get it potentially three attacks with Captain America. That's pretty awesome okay um, so that's gonna be the end of my turn my apartment's gonna untap got Hawkeye I got Captain America and I'm gonna draw five cards Ooh, decks getting kind of low one two three four five all right and let's see how this turns out on the villain side of stuff so break in gets a threat and do a scheme we get a threat on there Rhino is going to look over here and he's going to be like, oh, let's see here. I think Captain America is there and I'm going to beat the snot out of him. So Mockingbird. Hawkeye's like, no, but Mockingbird's going to step in the way. So two, that's six damage. Oh, crushed. There goes Mockingbird. But I imagine if a Rhino faced a Mockingbird in real life, it would turn out pretty much the same. So there you go. So Rhino takes out the Mockingbird. We're going to grab an encounter card. Encounter card is charge. We're going to attach to Rhino. And if Rhino attacks, he's going to do a lot of damage to Hawkeye, probably. But um, that's the end of Rhino's turn. So now we're back to our hero turn. Well, I've got this heroic strike sitting here. Just all like ready to do stuff. So I think we've got a one, two, three. Heroic Strike is going to do six damage and stun him. And then I'm going to attack with Captain America and take him out. So pow, that's Captain America. Just big strike and a follow-up punch and takes the Rhino out. All right, that was expert mode. That might have been even faster than some of my standard plays. Well, actually, my, my deck's a little bit low there, so... Uh, that went really well. Looks like uh, Captain America deck is a pretty rocking deck, and I'm pretty happy with this leadership stuff. So uh, time to step up to the claw. These went great. So I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have below. If you like this episode, make sure to click on that like button. And you can click on the crazy jackalope to stay up to date with any new content that rolls out.